ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And here we are looking at a shim. We've got a lot of these shims. We've got four of them, to be precise. This is probably one of the rarest shims in our Grumman. We see shims on our torque tubes on either side to keep them in between the honeycomb. But this particular shim goes on the canopy bow. And all the canopies in the factory, when they were at high production, producing a thousand airplanes a year, obviously you can't fit every windshield by hand, taking 20 to 24 man hours. So they had a jig, and everyone went into the jig, pushed forward, drilled, bow was bonded to it, and then it was taken out of the jig, sent to the airplane for the final four holes to be drilled, and that was that. And they, would, they could just throw them in and throw them out just as quick as possible. Well, what happens when you're, you're bonding like that, what happens is you can have a drift of up to 32, 32nd of an inch. From as the sealant heats up, those parts move, which is why we use the sheer number of clamps we do when we're doing a windshield, so we don't have the bow drift on us at all. So these are what those shims do. And uh, Ken just happened to have four of them. It's a shim that I've only seen once before, and most people would never know, so it's a real good mystery part for people. But anyway, we hope you found this useful and informative. Uh, you'll probably never need a shim because we're all doing the windshields by hand these days. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day flying your grumman.